right, so here we are with the second part of this uh, war recap video. Again, Sons of Anarchy. Again, this is going to be the Town Hall 10v10 action uh, that we had. Just incredible. I mean, what really made the difference, again, is our Town Hall 9s clearing as fast as they did. Keep in mind, our first 10v10 came within the first four or five hours of war. No, it was, it was at, yeah, the, at the fifth hour, we got our first 10v10, which is absolutely huge. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Here we got Eric going in on number 16. So let's go ahead and check out what he's doing. He's gonna be doing a queen walk Lalo. So he's gonna be dropping down uh, his queen, uh, followed up by the healers. So there she goes. She's gonna be working through some of this trash and he wants her to head up north in hopes or kind of northeast to grab those two ADs. So let's or, so let's let's go ahead and see how this plays out. So she's going to be kind of working on the town hall there. And then once that goes down, and notice he does have uh those goblins uh getting good value uh for one goblin taking out that gold mine uh while the queen's working up. So there goes the baby drag down at 6 just to ensure that his queen goes the right way. And really doesn't have to adjust too much here. So there she goes. He knows she's heading the right way. About to lock on to that first AD. That being the target. And the first AD goes down. There goes the archer tower. Again, he's got that wizard there just to, just to help the queen out. So she doesn't take too much time. You still only have three minutes on these town hall, you know, 10 and Town Hall 11 attack. So just getting great value there. Kind of lucks out. Uh, she should have targeted the, that gold mine, but instead goes for the AD. So that was definitely fortunate. He's got that rage just helping her along here. And he's got his king. And he was actually trying to do a queen charge here. He's got the giant. But notice he drops all his wall breakers. They take a bomb. And that Inferno Tower just zapped the wall breakers just in time. So now he's going to have to adjust a little bit. Because he was hoping to get that wall opened up for the queen to get that in Inferno Tower. So here comes the hounds. He's got a whole lot of balloons coming in up on the top here. Perfect haste. Uh, hasted about six loons there. They got the Archer Tower. Um, once that Tesla goes down, they're going to go ahead and take out the Inferno Tower. We all know how important that is. So he saw his one hound up, taking all kinds of damage from the expo and that AD, but just has so many loons. He's got that rage. There goes the expo, last AD down, and drops that freeze just in time, but those loons ate it on the air skellies and those Teslas. But he still had those loons in the bag that he dropped at six. So they're coming up. With that Inferno Tower, that very last Inferno Tower, just catches a hint of that rage, but he does still have his queen up. So she comes in clutch, takes out the Tesla, and just with a couple loons left, gets that Wizard Tower. Oh, the Wizard Tower is actually still up. And he still has the pups. He's got some minions he was trying to rush in here. So the, the, the pups and the minions end up taking out that last Wizard Tower as the Archer Tower was, or as the Wizard Tower was being tanked by the Queen. So just an awesome job. Uh, wow. Had us on the edge of our seats on that one. So awesome job to Eric. Absolutely incredible. So here we got Kodox. Definitely an interesting Town Hall 10 base, but a Town Hall 10 base nonetheless. Very compact. It's something, you know, not something that we see too often. Uh, did take a couple hits, so let's go ahead and see how Kodox, also known as Cotton Eye Joe, is going to do this. He's going to be doing it with a shattered, doing it with a shattered Lalo. So primary targets being the two ADs and the enemy Archer Queen. So he, there goes his second Golem, as his Wizards and Queen are just kind of helping set the funnel here. Goes ahead, drops down the very first jump. So King's actually the. King is going to be aggroed on by the enemy CC, and it actually helps pull the queen inside too. So that was definitely worked out very well. King goes ahead, takes out that 80, because notice his jump spell did reach that 80 compartment. Queen gets the second one, so pretty much anything from his kill squad from here is all extra. So all objectives complete with his kill squad. So he's dropping his hounds nice and far from that 80, as those loons are just going to be targeting 
uh, these different air targeting defenses. Goes ahead, drops down a haste as those loons are going to be getting that first ever important inferno tower down. Gets the rage for those loons. There goes the third air defense and still has one haste in the bag. Still has quite a few loons. Goes ahead, drops his last bit of loons. Uh, they catch that last and final rage. They're on the AD. So the major threat out of the way still has a couple Teslas and a couple ADs up. So that haste, those max out haste, those loons move so fast through those. And notice only one of his three hounds pop. He still has two unpopped hounds, but he does have plenty of cleanup, which is very important at Town Hall 10. So he's got cleanup down there. His king is still alive. I don't even know how that happened. And only one hound pop. So he still has his, one of his camp hounds and CC hound is still up. And here we got the rest is just cleanup. All, all enemy defense is down. So just imagine if those other two hounds pop. So just completely wreck this base. Great plan. Great execution. Awesome job to Kodox on that one. All right. So let's go ahead and check out um, our next replay here. We got Groovy Tony going in. Groovy Tony. This guy, again, most humble person I've ever met. I mean, this guy will three-star, and he won't even tell anybody. He'll just three-star, triple, 10v10, and he just moves on with his day. So let's go ahead and see what he does here. And he has been favoring the the CB Lalo lately, and I really like it. Going to be going in with a cold-blooded entry here with a maxed uh, golem in the clan castle. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So drops down his golem. He's got a baby drag and a wizard on each flank, just helping funnel the heroes in, uh, making sure with one golem, making sure that he gets uh, enemy archer queen and the AD. So wall breakers down, they pop the wall. Everything's going in just as planned. Notice he does bring a pair of Valks just to kind of help out his kill squad push through uh, the entry of this base. And with the scout, we did see that there was a Tesla farm here. So just an, an awesome entry. So not only is he getting the enemy Archer Queen, the CC, and the AD, he's also getting this Tesla farm. So he pops his Queen ability just in time, gets the Archer Tower, and he's going to actually pull all of those Teslas in that farm, gets them just in time, and now he's going to be starting the Lalo portion at the 9 o'clock uh, left side of this base. So it gets a perfect haste. Loons beeline it to the very first Inferno Tower. Hound's just doing an awesome job tanking all that incoming damage right there from the Expos and the AD and the Archer Towers. Drops down another haste. Notice he did bring six haste here. So just all kinds of spells for his loons. And just a few spells invested on the kill squad. So then drops down another haste as they're taking out that fourth Tesla, getting the Archer Tower, getting the Wizard Towers. Drops a perfect freeze, followed up by the heal. Healing up all those loons that were damaged down there. They get the very last AD. Grab the Tesla. Drops that one loon on that wizard tower up there at 2 o'clock. So instead of all your wad of loons getting targeted, just that one gets targeted. I mean, look at how many loons he has left here. I mean, he's got to have 10 plus loons right there. With the He's got the minions helping for cleanup. Got the minions... You know, did have his hounds pop, so he did uh, did get some help from his uh, pups helping with the cleanup. So just an amazing job dismantling that base. Awesome plan. Awesome scout. Shout out to Mazza for that scout. Uh, so just, oh, I hit play again. That's okay. So definitely teamwork all the way. That's how you get it done. So let's go ahead and check out. Here we got Kodox just coming in. He said, you know what? One 10v10 is not, not good enough. I got to get two. So he's six packed. 10v10. Let's see what he does here. Doing this one also with the Shattered Lalo. So he's going to be starting in over at 3 o'clock over here. Drops down his Golem. Baby Drag. Got a Queen. And notice he does have those Goblins down there. Don't want to forget that. He took out those four Gold Mines down there. Each with one Goblin. So just incredible value. Wall Breakers down. They pop the wall. He's got the Golem taking all kinds of damage. But tanking just enough. Um with all that incoming damage with the CC troops. Goes in, drops down the rage, gets the freeze to stop the damage from the Inferno Tower. He had poisons for the CC. They were wiped out. So just get anything after the second AD from the shot shattered entry is all extra. So the bowlers even get that expo. 
So now it's time for the Lalo portion of this. Bowlers are still up. King just beating on the wall. That's okay. And here comes the Hound and the Loons down here at 6 o'clock. So he's got all kinds of loons doing three doing three and two drops on all these uh, outlining defenses. Goes ahead. Look at this right here. He's got the haste. So he's ha double hasting his loons into a rage. Bam. Goes ahead and drops the freeze. Getting the Inferno and the AD. Just in incredible loon pathing. Spell placement. Absolutely incredible. Again, drops that one loon to target the Archer Tower and the Wizard Tower just in time for that wad of loons to take out these last uh, couple defenses up here at 12 o'clock side of this base. And he's got, again, he's got all kinds of cleanup. He's got minions. He still has a whole wad of loons just cleaning up this base. Doing it six pack style, 10 v 10, Kodox, Cotton Eye Joe. You, sir, are absolutely out of control. Our South African wonder and just doing it big. So, again, your war results, guys 83 to 74, nine star difference right there. Um, you guys killed it nines, tens, our town hall 11s. Uh, you know, shout out to Bender getting a fresh six pack, dipping on these tens. Still not the easiest thing to do. So, big shout out to everybody. Awesome war. Um, and again, as always, make sure you guys like the video. If you like the video, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You guys wrecked it. I had so much fun in this war and yeah, so stay tuned for the next vi upcoming videos and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.